I'm out in the middle of the 100 acre wood again. Meadow typing, it's more like the 500 acre wood. Ah, it was a better signal. It was a solid 75, but I don't know. Get it out of the ground. What I've learned from meadow detecting is uh, you can read everything that thing says and it's helpful, but the only way to really know what's in the ground, you, you actually have to dig it up. And it, that machine is telling me it's right there. I'll decide in a minute. I'm hoping it's not just another what I think it is. Because I already dug one of those. What I think it is. I want to know if it's what I think it is. I'm pretty sure it's metal. You, again, you can't really tell if it's metal until you dig it, because sometimes that will show you rocks that are metal. It moved it over there. I think I feel it. I don't want to break it. Actually, I'm not real concerned if I break it. Oh, I hope it's more than just a clip. That's it. It's just a clip. And it's a clip for this. Maybe not that specific one, but most likely that specific one. Beautiful 8081. Gotta be something better. Said this is about two miles deep. We're there. Aluminum. You know what that is? You do know what that is. Was harvest. Another 60s to 70s. I know what this is. It's gonna be about the width of a pencil or a pen. And about half the length. That's the GTH altogether. The length of the so we'll get it out just to prove ourselves right and see. Yeah, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm not. Seventy-six. This is a good seventy-six, meaning it's a solid high tone, and not a not a jumpy. I don't want to hear my pin pointer make a noise and I keep pushing the wrong button on that one I got a feeling the gun is like creep
Like really. Like really. Oh no, look at that. I buried a rock next to it. It's important when you're digging to dig the hole where the item is. Unless you're like me, I just need the exercise. So I'll dig around what I'm really looking for. That way I'll get more exercise. It's right there. Why is this so difficult? It's right there. There, it's a root. Hmm. That's an odd round for out here. But that explains the solid high tone. 70 to 72 low tone this time. Same numbers, but all right, it's got the squeaking. So if it gets the squeaking, then we know it's one of those because there is a little shot of brass right there. Depending on what the, the firing cap is made out of, it's just like a head stamp. You could get a low tone or a high tone, depending on what the primers is the word you were searching for is made of. Solid 90s, high tone. It is not iron, because I implemented the iron audio at my discretion. So it should be a massive long silver bar. I believe that's what it's going to be. A silver bar. What a lovely hunk of brass. Probably not so lovely after I just jugged the shovel all over it right there, but I figure it's been in the ground a while. It uh, uh. Nope, somebody buried another rock. That one has some ancient cave drawings on it. Probably need to be read by somebody to clean it off. And you can't read those anymore. Just remember, report it. Lose it. It is aluminum. It has a canister shot of some kind. I forgot what they are. I've looked them up before. I didn't realize they hit 99. 99. I've been waiting so long. No, no, no. It's this loop balloon. There's a harvest. This one was a scratchy 75. Uh, it's a little shorter than the last time. This whole hillside is littered with those. We gotta move. Got a beautiful solid 50 right here. This is going to be. More likely a head stamp off a shotgun shell, but more for launching. The 60 or 80 millimeter little torpedo looking do flotchy. Also known as a grenade. 
Let's see. See? I was wrong. What that is is an early Vietnam era piece of aluminum. They would use them to plant these tiny oaks and it always worked fine. So it's hard to pass up one of those. And another one of those. You know, I never found metal detecting. Well, I think I did once. The U.S. Army issued pocket knife for a watch. It's an 83. I've got a feeling it's another loan of canister. Um, because this hill, I think, spit out a lot of them. Or it could be another. Grenade launch. Someone moved it up there. Again, the more you dig, the more exercise you get. So, okay, I'm wrong. That is simply a brass fitting. Hmm, same as fitting. I'm not one to have secret spots. This is my secret spot because that was an ammo can. It's not anymore because this particular secret spot has that big barrel with all the stuff in it and. Uh, it could possibly be dry now because it hasn't rained in so long where I don't have to get my hands soaking wet to get to the bottom of it which is going to be nice look at that It is a little drier in that. I just, I wondered what was underneath this is the thing. But I couldn't get any deeper because back during the winter when I started this game, it was uh, full of water. A lot of water. So we're gonna make our way to the bottom. It's looking like uh, no matter how deep we get, we're going to end up with that and more and more of that. And I'm not going to carry them all out of here. I did a short reel to explain that if you're a prepper, you don't bury your ammo on the ground because this is what happens. And then I add a little uh, caveat, not to be confused with oyster mushrooms. That, that went like this. Boy, no, that's not even real ammo. Them blanks right there, boy. You don't even know what you're looking at. You ain't in the damn in the military in your life, boy. You don't even know what you're talking about. Can't believe you're throwing all those back in the ground, boy. I can't believe it. Well, I have to because this bucket goes forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So, and they are all blank, but you can dry them out, and if the primers aren't completely dead, this is going to really trigger a lot of y'all, you can shoot them with a BB gun, and they'll go pow. And if you don't believe me, I would mail you one if I could, because we did it, and it blew it backwards, and hit my oldest squirrel's dude in the chest. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. 
I got a shallow 86 right here, which is good because we're on the roadway where all the soldiers would have walked. Oh, crud. And I was hoping they might have dropped. It could be a coin. It could be one of their pins. Or it could be a bottle cap. Or it could be one of those little grenade things again. I'm hoping it's a coin. The goal I had today was to not sweat. Right there. That was the goal. It could be a Civil War buckle. That's why you want to dig as hard as you can. Ha! It is a coin. There's a case quarter. I really want to know the date on this one. But I can't see it. I'll check later. One of my favorite things I've ever found has been a, a horse bridle rosette thing from World War I. Oh man, I thought this might be something different because it's ringing up 70s and hitting low tone too, but when I uncovered it, it uh, turned back into a bullet sound. So, dude, they're not bullets if they're blanks. Well, I know, but goodness gracious, this is fun. Don't get mad at me. Sometimes you can get it from the underbelly. Because if you go to snatching up on all this root structure, it pops you in the face. Here's an old paper label. Royal Crown Cola bottle. BNS on the bottom. Must have been a Briggs and Stratton. Royal Crown Cola. I hate to take it because there was a soldier back here in the 70s, possibly 60s, that drank this and then laid it right there and ran back up that mountain to prepare to defend this country. So, yeah, that's how far I go on my thought processes with it. So, I'm going to leave it there as a memorial to that soldier. I'm nearing the top of the mountain. And it's getting taller and taller as you can see and i have not got a signal in a while but i did get an 80 81 right here so it's probably gonna be You want to play the old game where if you don't guess it right, you don't get it, and you got to put it back. My guess is a grenade pin. If it's not a grenade pin, I have to put it back. If it is a grenade pin, I know I'm going to be called that. Then I get to keep it. If it is something else. Oh, that's cool. It's a 
buckle. Sure, maybe an ammo belt or something like that. I didn't get it right. <coughs> Excuse me. I add a little extra sound to that. <coughs> Sorry, that one was real. Maybe, I'm not sure, but I didn't get it right, so we'll, we'll move on. I got another 65 to 70 right here. Actually, it's just 60s. Probably just going to be another bullet, but there's a lot of deer signs back there. I saw one that said deer crossing. Then I moved a little further. And it said, please go slow, we love our deer. I think this is a, another bullet, but possible that a deer has dropped a bracelet if this is where they're playing. Oh my goodness, this ground is hard. I know what I'll do. I'm going to dig right where the signal is this time to save myself a little trouble. See if that worked. Yeah, it did. Yeah, no, it's just on vibrate. I do wish those were two separate buttons. Someone chewed on that one. Must have got hurt and they put a bullet in their mouth and they chew on it. You see the teeth marks. Number eight, nine. They were missing number 11. Number 12 through 13 were there. But they were missing all their molars, I can tell. Possible signs of gingivitis and slight cardiovascular disease, but there's not much you can get off a bullet like that. Got a pretty good iron signal right here, so. I think we're going to play name that iron. Of course it's really deep. A lot of times when you bury a piece of iron, you want to bury it deeper than other stuff. Cause oh, that's acorns falling out of the tree. I thought those little foot feet. Yeah, this is pretty deep. I think ye old pinpointer. I think it's gonna be probably under the brown dirt. But just where we start. Hey, why don't you get a bigger shovel? Because that's just more metal to stick in the ground. Oh, okay. that's a good point. I know! We need to find a hatchet. This said United States Army on it. Actually. You know, I bought that big old piranha shovel years ago. And I realized, why in the world am I carrying around a 30 pound shovel in the woods when that one does the same thing? Same company. But.
What is this item? It's gonna be like three pieces of a ammo can. It's the 80s. I gave up on the last one up there because no matter where I dug or what I did, I could not find it. And the roots were treached, so I just stopped. So hopefully this is a coin, but like before, if you get it wrong, you have to keep it. I think it's it's not a coin. It's it's going to be one of those what you call it for a top of a grenade. could be wrong but I think that is a piece of brake hardware am I right it's a little adjuster we stick a screwdriver in and go crank 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 and get your uh, brakes tight I could be wrong I wish I harvest yeah I'm done um you know other than the RC Cola bottle the second most in the actually the most interesting thing i found was this one case quarter and the reason why it's in 1967 which means it was for a soldier most likely heading to vietnam out here training so he dropped it i could be wrong but to me that's better than a silver quarter Thanks for watching my videos.